Hello. 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 My name is Momo. Lovely. Other things that um, I've had interest um, to, or I, I've had requests to do, um, and one of those that I am um, quite well known for, and I get a lot of questions, is uh, my rhinestones. I've noticed that um, this is becoming a lot more prevalent, um, even in uh, the teenagers, but. Uh, the earliest I can remember seeing this trend was in 1997 when Madonna did Ray of Light. She, um, in the video, she glued little rhinestones on her eyes. And if you find quality rhinestones and you know how to do it, um, it can be just a spectacular effect, especially if you're in a spotlight. So what I do is I will actually go to like Michael's Arts and Crafts here in town or to any general craft store that you have. And Michael's, um, actually, I buy um, a Swarovski crystal, which is a, it's a higher end rhinestone, but it is casually known in the drag queen community as an AB stone, and that stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a stone with different facets that offer up a prism of different colors, if you will. But um, the way that I apply them to my face is I will use the eyelash glue, just the same stuff that I just put on my eyelashes with, and put just a little dot on maybe um, the table or um, on, you know, like a, a little makeup case or a piece of paper or whatever. It doesn't really matter, but you just, a little goes a long way. Um, and I've been known to do up to 120 of these on my face. Uh, but just a little dot of glue tweezers, and it really helps to have the angled tweezers, and you want to be really careful with this. I don't suggest doing it if you're overly caffeinated, because you could end up blind, and then you'll have to rhinestone an eye patch, but, <laughs> which could be a fabulous look, uh, but <laughs> at any rate, um, you want to, and, and you do lose a lot of rhinestones depending on the size that you use, but you want to pick up a little rhinestone and have a good grisp, um, grab, grasp on it and just lightly put an itty bitty little dot on the back of it. You don't want too much that it touches any part of the face because if glue or powder or anything gets on that, it's not going to sparkle, it's not going to shine, it's going to dull. Um, so be sure to be very careful. And then all you do very carefully is I like to put them on my eyes, particularly the corners of my eyes, and just secure it. And as you can see, I'm hoping you got all the lights, um, depending on, on how the people look at you or where the lights are. If you have a lot of these on your eyes, you're going to look like a walking disco ball, and particularly if they are Aurora Borealis, they're going to see prisms of light. It's really beautiful. It's very simple. It's easy to do.